Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Ten young children born without functioning immune systems and lacking the ability to fight infections are on track for healthier lives thanks to a new gene therapy treatment pioneered at UC San Francisco, reports a December 22 study in the New England Journal of Medicine. The children have Artemis skid, a very rare genetic disorder that is typically treated with a bone marrow transplant from a healthy donor, ideally a matched brother or sister. The new gene therapy allows researchers to treat newly diagnosed babies with their own cells, adding a healthy copy of the Artemis gene to the baby's harvested marrow stem cells, then infusing the corrected stem cells back into their bodies, in hopes of avoiding many of the short and long-term company. The children in the trial, all under the age of five, are living at home with their families, attending daycare and preschool, playing outside, and living normal lives, said Mort Cowan, M.D., UCSF pediatrics professor and the trial's lead investigator. Already, the course of their illness is so much better than with the typical treatment, said Cowan, who has treated more than 30 children with Artemis skid using standard bone marrow transplants. I've never seen results like this in any of the other kids. It's amazing. Gene correction has been used before in patients with other genetic forms of skid, but its use in Artemis skid is significant because these patients usually respond more poorly to standard bone marrow transplants. Complications can include rejecting the marrow graft, graft versus host disease, in which the donor T cells attack the recipient's tissues, chronic infections leading to organ damage, stunted growth, and premature death. Signs of stronger immunity The first outcome of the Phase 1, 2 trial involved the safe transfusion of gene-corrected cells that would differentiate into white blood cells by 42 days after infusion. Researchers theorized patients would need less chemotherapy to prepare their marrow for transfusion when their own cells were being used. Thus only 25% of a full dose of busulfan was administered. The second outcome was T-cell reconstitution at 12 months, a measurement of the strength of the immune system. All 10 patients were safely transfused with their own gene-corrected stem cells that gave rise to corrected peripheral blood cells within 42 days. All 10 were growing their own T cells and B cells by 12 weeks, and 4 of 9, excluding a patient who received a second treatment, achieved full T cell immune reconstitution by 12 months. 4 of 9 also achieved full B cell immunity by 24 months, allowing them to discontinue immunoglobulin replacement and receive standard childhood vaccinations. An additional three patients, who were followed for fewer than 24 months, had promising B-cell development when compared to previous outcomes for donor-transplanted patients. One child required a second infusion of gene-corrected bone marrow due to a persistent infection with cytomegalovirus prior to gene therapy but is now infection-free with good T and B-cell immunity. All of the results are better than those previously seen with Artemis skid patients who received donor bone marrow transplants, noted Jennifer Puck, MD, UCSF pediatrics professor and co-lead investigator in the study. Having patients in the trial achieve full T-cell immunity is outstanding. B-cell recovery takes longer but so far it looks as if the patients also have a far better chance for B-cell reconstitution than they would with a regular bone marrow transplant, Puck said. 
successfully using less chemotherapy is also a big win. Minimizing the harmful side effects of full-dose busulfan in small infants. Better B-cell immunity could help avoid issues such as chronic lung disease that often develop later in childhood for Artemis skid patients who receive a standard bow. The children in the trial are currently between the ages of 18 months and 4. 5 years. 9 were born in the U.S. and were diagnosed following newborn screening for skid. One was born in Canada and diagnosed at 5 months of age with clinical illness. Four patients are of Navajo, Apache Native American descent, where the Artemis skid mutation is more common. Median follow-up was 31. Two months. At the time of study publication, six patients had been followed for at least 24 months. We're pioneering gene therapy in this very rare disease right now, but we are using techniques that can be exported to other situations and can help many other conditions worldwide, said Puck. Every new innovation happens one patient at a time. Co-authors. Also contributing to this research from UCSF were Jason Yu, Ph.D., Carol Fraser Brown, B.A., Yukina Sanford, M.S., Misako Kawahara, B.A., Wendy Chan, B.S., Shivala Chag, M.S., and Robert Currier, Ph.D., of the UCSF Department of Pediatrics, Jess. Please refer to the paper for additional co-authors. Morton J. Cowan. Jason Yu. Janelle Ficino. Carol Fraser Brown. Yukina Sanford. Misako Kawahara. Jasmine Dara. Janel Long Boyle. Jess O. Oh, Wendy Chan. Shivala Chag. Lori Broderick. Deepak Chelapandian. Eline DiCalu. Catherine Golsky, Diana Hu, Caroline Y. Kuo, Holly K. Miller, Alexandra Petrovi. Lentiviral Gene Therapy for Artemis Deficient Skid. New England Journal of Medicine. 2022. 387. 25. 2344 DOI. 10. 1056. Nae MOA 2206575 University of California, San Francisco. Infant gene therapy is a breakthrough for Artemis Skid patients. First 10 patients with deadly immune deficiency are doing amazing. Science Daily. Science Daily. The 21st of December 2022. ift.tt/uwp1ohm. University of California, San Francisco. 2022, December 21st. Infant gene therapy is a breakthrough for Artemis Skid patients. First 10 patients with deadly immune deficiency are doing amazing. Science Daily. Retrieved December 21, 2022 from ift.tt-uwp1ohm University of California, San Francisco. Infant gene therapy is a breakthrough for Artemis skid patients. First 10 patients with deadly immune deficiency are doing amazing. Science Daily. HTTPS colon slash slash ift. TT. UWWP1 Ohm. Access December 21, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.